everybody, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura, and another Granny Square Sunday. And this Sunday, I'm going to be showing you how to make this is a traditional Granny Square, but we're going to be playing with color. And I'm going to be showing you how to make this pattern. So, the more you make, the more intricate and interesting patterns you can make with just a simple traditional Granny Square. So, let's begin. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using a DK light worsted weight yarn and I'm using three colors. So I'm going to be calling this the Neapolitan Granny Square because we've got our strawberry color, our chocolate color and our vanilla color. So this is a yarn weight of three. And with that, I'm actually going to be using a four millimeter G crochet hook. And you're also going to need a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors as well. Okay. So we're going to start off in the middle and the trick to this design and working out how to create this pattern is just changing the color on the corners. So if you bear that in mind, that should make things a little bit easier, but we're going to start off with a slip knot and we're going to work a chain four loop. So you can also use a magic ring as well if you prefer. But I'm going to chain four, three and four. Then we're going to put our hook into our first chain, bring the yarn through our first chain and straight through loop on our hook. And I apologize for the state of my hands, fingers. I've just eaten an orange, so, and I'm covered in cuts and bruises from gardening, so I do apologize. <laughs> but what we're then going to do is we are going to chain three, one, two, and three and we're going to work some stitches into the center of our chain four loop so we're going to yarn over and we're going to put our hook into the center of our loop be careful not to put it into our first chain bring the yarn through and we're going to work a double crochet so this pattern's in us terminology so we're going to pull through two pull through two to work a double crochet and then we want another one of those so back into the center it's wrapping it around the chains Work a double crochet. In UK terms, these are going to be trebles. Okay. Then we're going to create a space on the corner. So we're going to chain two. Then we're going to work three more double crochets in the center. So three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we create our next corner, chain two, one and two, then three more double crochets in the center, one, two and three. And I'm carrying my tail end here, so I'm just making sure I'm carrying that. That will help close the hole at the end. Our next corner, chain two. Then three more double crochet in the center of your loop. One, two, and three. Then we need to make one more corner. So we're going to chain two again. And we're going to slip stitch in the top of our three chains. Now these three chains are going to count as a double crochet. So find your top chain, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch into there. Just working under both loops neatly as you can. Work a slip stitch. Okay, and because I carried my tail end, I should be able to just pull in that center hole. But you can always sew it closed if you want to, or just leave it, it still looks nice. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to slip stitch over to this chain two space over here. So I'm gonna slip stitch in the white still, in the next double crochet, and in the next double crochet. Then we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space, but we're not going to yarn over with the white, we're going to bring in our next colour. Our next colour is the pink. So let's get our pink yarn, and we're going to put our hook into the chain two space, drop the white, don't fasten off though, don't cut the white because we're going to rejoin later. Just hold the tail end and then bring the pink through and then through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And now we're working with the pink. And um, for the second round, we're just going to do a purely pink round. So we're going to start off with a chain three, 
one, two, three, because the round two is just made up of corners. So we're just sticking with our single color. So chain three, again, we're gonna count that as a double crochet. Then going back into the two chain space, we're gonna work two double crochet, one and two. Okay, that's our first little set of three. And then we're gonna create our corner, chain two, and we're going to work another three double crochet in that same two chain space. One, two, and three. Okay, our corner is made. Now in between our corners, we're just going to chain one. So just chain one. Then over to our next two chain space, we do three double crochet again. One, oops, two and three. On the corner, we chain two, one and two, and then three more double crochet in the same chain two space. One, two, and three, like so. Okay, and we're just gonna continue that all the way around back to the beginning. So in between our corners, we just chain the one. Then in the next two chain space, we do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, okay? Okay, so after your last corner, don't forget to chain one in between. And then we are going to slip stitch in the top of our three chains. So one, two, three. Find the top stitch, top chain. <laughs> I don't know why this has gone really complicated. There we go. And slip stitch into there, still with the pink. Okay, so it looks something like this. And again, we're going to slip stitch over to our corner here. So we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, then we're gonna slip stitch in the two chain space, but we're going to rejoin the white. So the next round is gonna be a mixture of white and pink, but the alternate color, so the opposite color, is always gonna be on the corner. So what we're gonna do is put our hook into our two chain space, drop the pink and bring up the white again. And just bring that through the two chain space and through the loop on your hook, okay? We want to carry our pink though, so I'll show you what to do for that. But the first thing to do is the corner. So we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. And making sure to carry your pink, and what that means is just keep it next to your stitches, like so. And we're going to work two double crochet in that two chain space, making sure to carry your pink so it's just sat on top of your hook and work two double crochet one and two chain two on the corner and then three double crochet because that three chain is counting as a double crochet so three double crochet in the same two chain space two and three, but with the third one, just before you finish, instead of yarning over with the white to finish that last double crochet, we're gonna drop the white, and hopefully you've been carrying your pink, bring up the pink, and finish that last double crochet with the pink, and that will create a really nice smooth color join, okay? And then what we're gonna do is in between, we always do chain one, so it's a chain one. Then on the on the edge, we're going to do a pink. So we do three double, after your chain one, do three double crochet in that chain one space. One, two, and three, but again, and I didn't carry my white, so that's a lesson learned there. So let's do that again. <laughs> always remember to carry. So three double crochet and carry that white. So always make sure it's sat on top of your hook. Three double crochet. It's good to show you my mistakes. Two and three. And again, in the third double crochet, just before you finish, instead of yarning over with the pink, 
We're going to drop the pink and yarn over with the white to finish that last double crochet to get a nice clean join. And we're working with our white again because we always do the opposite color or new color on the corner. So we do a chain one and again carry the pink and do our corner of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in that two chain space. So one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and remember to change color on the third double crochet. So instead of finishing with the white, drop the white, bring up the pink, which hopefully you've been carrying, and bring that through. Okay, so it looks like this. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around, swapping to the pink on the edges and back to the white on the corners, okay? So always making sure to join your new color in the end of that last double crochet before your chain one. Okay, and remember to carry your yarn. So I will do that, then I shall come back. So we've got three double crochet in the pink now, but we need to rejoin the white in the third double crochet. So we're gonna drop the pink and finish that stitch with the white. And then we chain one and work a corner in the white of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Okay. Okay, so just going up to the end, and even though we are right at the end, we still need to swap back to the white. So in that last third double crochet, we drop the pink and yarn over with the white. I'm trying to find it with all cameras in my face. Okay, and then don't forget to chain one, we need our chain one spaces, and then we slip stitch in the top of our third chain at the very end, join the round. That is the end of round three. Okay, so you should now have your first sort of diamond shape in the pink. And now we're gonna be working with, we've actually finished with the pink. Yes, I think we finished with the pink. We're now gonna be working with the white and the brown. And it's the same principle. We are going to be using the um, the brown in the corner because we always do the opposite color that we want. So, but the first thing we do is slip stitch over to. We can actually yarn off, yarn off, fasten off with the pink, so that doesn't confuse us. And slip stitch over to our corner. Okay. We want the opposite color, so we're going to put our hook into the two chain space, but instead of yarning over with the white, we're going to add a new color. This helps us remember where to do our color changes. So yarn over with the brown. And now we're working with the brown. And same thing again, our corner is made up of chain three to begin. Two double crochet, remember to carry the white with you, because you're going to need that. So two double crochet. Chain two. And then three double crochet on the corner. One, two. And we need to swap to our white in the end of that last double crochet. So we're going to drop the brown and yarn over with the white because on the edges, we always do the opposite color. So we're going to be doing two lots of three double crochet uh, in the white now. So, but the first thing to do, always remember to do your chain one in between and making sure to carry the brown. We're gonna do three double crochet in the next chain one space. One, two, and three. We're gonna stay with the white because we're still on an edge. Chain one in between, carry the brown. Next, chain one space, three, double crochet. One, 
two and three but in the third one we need to drop the white and yarn over with the brown because we've reached our next corner so we're going to chain one and then work our corner of three double crochet chain two three double crochet making sure to carry the white okay so three double crochet chain two oops the wrong color <laughs> chain two three more double crochet then after your corner, we must remember to change back to the white in the end of our last double crochet. So our third one here, we drop the brown and bring up the white. Then we're working with the white again. And then we're gonna work two sets of three double crochet in white on the long of the edge and then back to brown, two white, back to brown up to the end. So we're always doing an opposite color or new color on the corner. Okay, so I shall do that. Don't forget to chain one in between and just repeat that all the way around. <laughs> Without getting in a mess. Okay, three double crochet. Chain one, staying with the white, three double crochet, and then changing back to brown as we reach our corner in that third double crochet. So drop the white, bring up the brown. Don't forget to chain one and then work your corner, remembering to carry the white. Three double, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So I should do that, repeat that all the way around back to the beginning. And just coming up to the end, we're going to do, and I'll rejoin our brown in our last double crochet. So drop the white, bring up, no, not the pink tail in, the brown, <laughs> wherever that is, and bring that through. Don't forget to chain one, and then slip stitch in the top of your three chains to finish. Okay, so that's the end of round four. We've got one more round and it changes slightly as things get bigger. Okay, but hopefully it looks like that. So you've got your colors on the corner. And again, we're just gonna slip stitch over to the corner to begin. So keeping with our brown. And like I always say, we need to do the opposite color or a new color on the corner. So in this case, it's going to be the white. So we put a hook into the two chain space. We drop the brown and we're going to yarn over with the white. And we work with our white yarn. Okay, and then we're gonna work a corner in the white. So we chain three, two, three two double crochet, make sure to carry that brown, two double crochet, one and two, chain two on the corner, three more double crochet in the same chain space, but we need to change to back to the brown in the end of that last double crochet, so just making sure you've carried your brown. We're going to drop the white, bring up the brown, bring that through. Now along the edge, what we're going to do is something a little bit different because we actually want to swap back to the white right in the middle. The first thing we're going to do is a brown stitch. Don't forget to chain one after you join your new color. So in the next chain one space, don't forget to carry the white. We do three double crochet, one, two and three, but we're gonna rejoin the white again in the end of that last double crochet. So drop the brown, bring up the white, because rather than just doing brown all the way across, you need to have that, you can see here your diamond shape of the white needs that little corner here. 
So right in the middle, we need to swap back to the white. So chain one, always after a new color change after those three double crochets. And then in the middle, three double crochet. One, two, and three, but remember to go back to your brown in the end of that third double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in the brown, carrying the white, one, two, three, and we need to do the opposite color on the corner, so we drop the brown, we join the white, in the end of that last double crochet, chain one, and then work your corner of three double crochet chain two, three double crochet in the white, chain two, but in the end of that last double crochet we want to swap back to the brown. Okay, so drop the white, bring up the brown, hopefully you're carrying it, and we're working it with the brown again. Okay, so there we go. That's what it looks like along here. So we always do the opposite color on the corner, but then we need to swap to the next color to match this up. But in the middle, we need the white. So I just repeat that all the way around. So next would be brown, white, then brown, back to the corner of white, brown, white, brown, corner of white, brown, white, brown, back to the beginning, and then you're finished. So. You could go bigger if you wanted to, but we're going to keep this the same size as all our other squares so they all fit together. So I shall do that, then I shall come back and show you the finished square. Okay, when you get up to the end, even though we're right at the end, we're still going to swap back to the white. So in the last brown double crochet, we're going to yarn over with the white. Don't forget your last chain one and we're just going to slip stitch in the top of our three chains to finish. Just so we get a nice clean color join at the end. Okay, then we can cut our yarn, cut our brown as well. Just pull that loop through and then we're gonna do a nice invisible join so you can't see the join. So we're gonna get our yarn needle, and what we're going to do, we slip stitch into the top of our three chains. So we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to sew into the last double crochet, the next stitch. Pull gently, but not too tight. And then we're going to go back to our slip stitch and we're just going to sew into the back loop only. And what that does is it creates a little stitch here over the top of that middle double crochet. And we can just hide, hide our tail end in similar colors. And then you can see the join there is nice and clean. So you can't see where the join is. And there we go. All there's left to do is hide your tail ends. You've carried your yarn, but it shouldn't, apart from my little mistake here, which I messed up, it shouldn't be too bad on the back with carrying the yarn colors. But there we go. And the fun thing is when the more you make of these, the more interesting your design gets. So when we bring in another one, like so, you can start to see the brown join up. So if you had two more, you would then have a whole diamond made up in the brown. So you can have a lot of fun with this design. I hope it's introduced you to something a little bit more, just a little bit more interesting than just the traditional granny square and start playing with some geometric designs. I highly recommend um, getting one of those notebooks that have the little squares in and then getting some coloring pencils and working out some designs imagining each little square in the sketchbook in the notebook is a different color a little set of three double crochets and you can end up designing your own geometric patterns but thank you for watching a huge thank you as always to our monthly subscribers on happy berry plus uh, these videos would not be possible without you guys so thank you and if you are interested in our monthly subscription and digital crochet magazine then do check it out the links will be in the description below we have a digital crochet magazine we have a podcast uh, we have behind the scenes footage we have exclusive patterns all pdf downloads are free and no extra charge and the ebook 
books are free, so it's definitely worth checking out. But a huge thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you remember where this channel is and comment below and let me know what types of granny squares you like to make. And I'll see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Thank you.